loud laughers. Attention, loud laughers. I need you. This is Brent. And I need you, if you're in the Los Angeles area, or you will be in the Los Angeles area, um, on June 29th, that is. June 29th, I'm shooting a stand-up special. There's and there's going to be two shows that we're shooting it at. It's a low key thing. It's going to be at the UCB theater. So, um, that's on Franklin and you can get tickets at ucbcomedy.com. You just look for it. Um, there's a seven o'clock and a nine thirty show. And, um, if you are tight on money for some reason or whatever, and you're a good laugher, Contact me, find me um, online somewhere and let me know and I will put you on the comp list, okay? Um, so you have no excuse to not go, all right? Um, especially, I mean, if you're a, a good laugher, okay? We need good laughers for this. Uh, June 29th, I don't know if I said that, but June 29th in Los Angeles at the UCB Theater on Franklin and it's a seven, and a 9.30 show. And we wanna fill this thing up with some good laughers, so please come out. Now, this show, uh, the Poundcast that is, is sponsored by Louisville Vegan F Jerky Company, or Louisville. Louisville Vegan Jerky Company. They make Louisville Vegan Jerky, of course. And you can visit their website at LVJ co.com and they have meatless jerky there that and a bunch of different flavors there's always a new flavor every month and right now the new flavor is neil hamburgers hamburger style jerky and um so that's cool and look this stuff there's other flavors too you know there's kentucky future chicken Riff Raff's orange chicken Shelby Park Honey Barbecue. There's the classic flavors like Smoky Carolina Barbecue and General So's and stuff like that. Buffalo Hot Wing. Okay, that's a new twist on an old classic. And if you use the code word Poundcast uh, at your order at lvjco.com, you will get 20% off your order. Um, look, this stuff is bagged in the United States. It is has a shelf life of nine months. And if you don't want that discount and you want to just buy the stuff in the store or not online, you can find it at Whole Foods, Sprouts, places like that. And, you know, Louisville Vegan Jerky has been our sponsor for years now. And check them out. You know, if you're, I mean, and by the way, I'm not even... You don't even have to be vegan to enjoy this stuff, okay? I eat meat, and I also eat Louisville vegan jerky, so it's that easy. So once again, use the code word POUNDCAST and get 20% off your order. Um, the show is also sponsored by people like you. Um, we have a Patreon account, patreon.com slash POUNDCAST, and there you get uh, bonus content. Um, you get extra long episodes, and we get into some funny stuff and, you know, check it out. There's other little bonus things on there too, you know? So patreon.com slash podcast, check it out and help support the show, but also you're getting content out of it too. Um, we're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash the podcast and on Instagram, the podcast. There's some clips on there and also you can see video of the episodes. Uh, on, on YouTube. So um, this week, uh, Doug is still out of town. He's still on tour with Eric Andre. So Jack Birch is here. Oh, Jack Birch is wearing a DJ Doug Pound hat, which you can see on the video if you want to check that out. But Jack Birch is uh, here and we will be uh, talking a bit and uh, responding to some voice messages from some callers. And uh, we also um, will be um, in the unzipped, which is what you get on Patreon. Uh, we'll be looking at some interesting fashion things. You're going to want to check that out.
or listen, you're going to want to listen to it, watch it, whatever. But um, I think we'll just start the show. Am I missing anything? Jack has been quiet this whole time, and that's that's cool. And he's here. You'll see him on the video, but you won't. Um, you, I guess you won't hear him. But you'll hear him in just a little bit after we come back from the intro song. But uh, I think that's all there is to mention. Um, I guess let's roll the clip. Okay, well, um, here we are once again. Um, Brent Weinbach here. Welcome to the podcast. Jack Birch in the house. The digital in the cl- in the closet right now. Oh, are you in the closet? Yeah, I'm in the closet right now. Oh, that's cool, man. You're like R. <laughs> Kelly. I feel like you're you're, you're like basically R. Kelly now. You yeah, know, I'm doing this they, one for R. Kelly. I guess they need a new R. Kelly in town, right? You could be the next R. Kelly. I'm a, my first step in the closet. I'm on my way. You can, you know, you can also be like Michael Jackson. J. Kelly. <clears throat> Um, yeah, Jay Kelly. Yeah, Jay Kelly. <laughs> um, Michael Jackson kept it in the closet also. You know that song by him? Keep it in the closet? No, I don't know, but I'd imagine he'd keep it in the closet. All the top guys like... <laughs> are talking the... about closets, you know? Yeah. All the top guys harboring secrets. Yeah. What kind of <laughs> skeletons do you have in this closet? Actually, your closet <laughs> looks pretty empty. Yeah, I've I've cleared it out so that it's... Oh. You know, everything's on the other side. Yeah. Do you feel cozy in there or do you are you scared? Yeah, it's nice. It's cozy. Uh-huh. That's neat. You got your own it's my DIY studio. studio. Yeah. Um, I am <clears throat> sorry, I am I'm gonna be honest with you and I'm gonna be honest with everybody listening. We appreciate it. I'm sick. Okay. I got sick. This is the first time I've been sick since I think November. So I had a good run. But um, yeah, you might hear me clearing my throat and sniffling. Although you hear that anyway, usually I'm sniffing, making sniff noises. I think that's what the fans want. That's what they're here for. Right. I guess I've conditioned people to, uh, you know, crave that now. But uh, yeah, I'm some kind of sick, you know, and, uh, you know, I probably got, I don't know, I probably have rabies or something, you know. Someone bit me. <laughs> yeah, it could be that then. Some, some <laughs> hoodlum kind of came up on me and gave me a bite. I said, damn, what you oh, doing? Shit. He said, oh, I'm just trying to get it. I'm just trying to get a nibble. <laughs> said, a nibble? You call that a nibble? I was on. Said, oh, oh, you're not Louisville vegan jerky, right? Exactly. <laughs> I said, "You want to nibble? Get some Louisville vegan jerky. Don't be nibbling on my ass." <laughs> <laughs> and I go, and he said, "Okay, my bad, my bad." <laughs> I said, "All right, apology accepted." I know you, but sick. I still now I'm sick. You know, damn. Yeah, that happened over in, on on Sautel. You know. I was trying to get some Japanese food and saw it on Sautel. <laughs> and <clears throat> got my ass nibbled. Yeah, this guy came up on me. He said, Let me just get let me get a little nib get a little nibble. I said, Not again. He came up on me twice. <laughs> All right. Anyway, no, I'm kind of stuffed up right now and I'm you know. Clear my throat and stuff. You know how it is when you're sick. When's the last time Dude, you got sick? Where I, I, I can't remember the last time I got sick. It's been a long time. Touch really? wood. Yeah. Um, where we are right now, there's like some plant. It's like a some kind of cotton plant. And it's all in the air right now. It kind of looks like it's snowing. Is that right? Really? Yeah. So like for people with allergies, there's going to be a nightmare out there. Oh, yeah, I bet. You don't get allergies, though. 
N nah, so far I've been pretty good. You actually look really um, young right now. Oh, I did shave. Yeah, man, you're looking smooth. Yeah, that's good, man. Well, it's just there's a lot about you that I'm just looking at you thinking this looks like a boy, <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking, damn, I might need me to need to get a nibble. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> um. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't. That's a pretty good run, though. That I was, you know, what is it, five months, at least five months, five six months that I didn't get sick, you know. Yep, that's good. But uh, you know, I hope I am good for this. I got the stand up special tape taping. Oh yeah, at the end of next month, in you know June, end of June. I hope I'm not still, you know, I hope, cool. I hope this doesn't you, develop into something that kind of. You should be recovered in a few no. months. What? Oh, <laughs> you should be recovered by then, yeah. Yeah, well, no, a few weeks, you mean. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, it is the end of, oh, yeah, it's the end of May right now. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. But what else? Um, man, I don't know. I got, I think it was probably a combination of, um, I don't know. I wasn't getting enough sleep in part because this some dog was making noises and it was all moaning and stuff and it was preventing me from sleeping. Some dog, some dog in heat nearby. Yeah, some dog in heat. Some mm. freak, some freak without warning. And I had the same problem not in heat, but my dog was keeping me up, so Oh, you're we both sleep deprived and we're getting through it. Yeah. How is it a new dog? No, not a new dog. What's going Just, on with it though? Why was it making noise? So something triggered something came past our window late at night. Maybe like we think something it hadn't smelled before, like a raccoon or something. And then after that she was just on like full alert, like barking all night. That is territorial sucks. mode. That yeah. sucks. I mean, that's one thing that sucks about dogs is the constant barking when it you don't want it, you know? Yeah. Hey, it's good if they're there to protect and, you know, if there's a someone bad out there that's going to try to get, you know, nibble you without, you know, permission. But when they're just barking for no reason, oh my gosh, this is just yeah. really... I mean, she was, act she was acting like it was a bear and it was probably like a squirrel, you know? I dreamt that I about the barking. I mean, or the moaning, the barking, <laughs> and I was dreaming, and I was saying, I don't know where it's coming from. I, I was in my dream. Oh, you like hearing it in your dream? Yeah. Yeah, and I was <laughs> talking to people in the neighborhood. I said, "What? It's not me. I don't know where it's coming <laughs> from." You know. So this dog's at your window, like Brent. Yeah, Brent. It did feel like it was right at my window. It was so <laughs> loud. Damn. And then I got, I, my sister was in town and, uh, we, you know, I saw her that day that I didn't get much sleep, at, you know, after the dog, that dog night, you know, that I had. And, um, I don't know, we had El Pollo Loco chicken and mm -hmm. I guess, and two days later, and I always feel like 48 hours after you get, when you start to feel sick, I always think this was from something 48 hours before. Mm -hmm. It was when I had met with my sister and we had El Pollo Loco. We didn't have it. We had it at home, you know? Yeah. Actually, where the house my mom lives in. And <clears throat> I thought, I wonder what's up. And my sister got sick too, the same time as me. So I don't know. I think we were exposed to the same thing on the same day. And it could have been the El Pollo Loco. Could have been. So you know, we're kind of stuffed up and we're kind of pecking around. We're kind of doing these pecking <laughs> kind of motions with our head, you know, you know what I mean? You get chicken pox. Yeah. And then we're, <laughs> we're, we're balking sometimes we're going, ah! so I don't know, man. I think we got some kind of chicken gunia or something like that. <laughs> you know about chicken gunia? I don't know. What's chicken gunia? I, I went to India in uh, 2010 <laughs> And uh, it was something that I was told that you need to get whatever different kind of vaccinations and things for is chikungunya. It was some kind of disease that was going around, I guess. And 
I don't know. It's funny because it sounds like you're saying chicken, but it's actually, I don't think it relates. I don't know if it relates to actual chicken, you know? Um, I'm going to look it up right now. Chick, it's spelled, <clears throat> right. It's not, it's spelled C H I K U N G U N Y N. I've never heard of that. It's not related to chickens. <laughs> and it's, you know, spread through mosquitoes. And, uh, you know, I guess you get fever and joint pain and stuff. I actually kind of feel that way right now. Maybe I really do have chicken gunia. But I always joked around with my sister for years about <laughs> it being this thing where you turn into a chicken, you know? <laughs> you know, and, and, yeah. it's, and you start... I was trying to do this whole bit about chicken gunia yeah. and, you know, that this guy calls in... <clears throat> Let me see how it goes. So it was something about, you know, people are afraid of COVID-19 right now, but 10 years ago, I traveled to a foreign country where I had to worry about a disease called chikungunya. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I would like to perform an act out uh, or perform an act out demonstrating the terror of chikungunya so that in comparison, it might put you more at ease about COVID-19. So I kind of do this act out and it goes like this. And then I pick up, hello. And, and then anyway, I went on this act out. I'm not going to get into the act out. It did involve an accent and um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, but it was about this guy and he seemed, he, he calls, he's calling the doctor and he's saying, Hey, what's up doc? It's me, Brian. I, look, I seem to have contracted a, a nasty case of chikungunya. You have to help me. You know, um, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm growing a beak, and all I can think about <laughs> is breasts and thighs <laughs> and legs and even feet. And I just, I just, I just, bah! and he can't stop talking. So I'm telling you, Doc, I, I just, I, I bah, bah, bah! <laughs> Something like that, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to this. Um, he's like, uh, <clears throat> let me see. Let me see if there's anything more to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, that's it pretty much, actually. No, it's something like that. Some act out. That's of pretty this fun. Guy. This guy has chicken goonia. <laughs> I guess the... The thing about it is I think people think it's related to chickens, you know? So I think <laughs> yeah, why would it would be it? funnier to people if I was talking about chikungunya and it's this chicken disease where you turn into a chicken. But it, you know, but I think people would, they don't know what that is and that it's, anyway, whatever. Um, you know what I mean? It's, Wait, it's if they knew it was just some kind of mosquito disease and it was something that you, you know, that is just a fever and, and joint pain yeah. or whatever. Uh, then I think that would be funnier. Is <laughs> <clears throat> that's the crazy name? But actually, when we were kids, uh, my mom told my sister when she got chicken pox that, like, because you get the pimples, she was like, "Oh yeah, that's where like feathers are gonna sprout from. Like, really, you're gonna get like chicken feathers." <laughs> yeah, is and it, she oh, like, that's freaked funny. out. That's funny. <laughs> got those pox. Yeah, I got chicken pox yeah. when I was five. I remember my first pox. Yeah, I think. First... I think we got put into a room with other kids with chicken pox, so we would just like get it out of the way. Is that right? Yeah, like a pox party. Really? Why they did that? Huh? <laughs> yeah. How old are you when you got pox? Yeah, I must have been. I must have been like five or six. Yeah, you know, um, that's how uh, Tupac got his name. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> he just got two of them. <laughs> yeah, they put him in a room with <laughs> all these pox kids, and he only sprouted two pox. And they thought, wow, you it's must Tupac. have some sort of crazy immunity, man. Tupac, that's it? That's your new name, Tupac. And he's like, Shaku! <laughs> what? Shaku! Yeah. It's just a surname, I don't know. Shaku, they're, they're saying, yeah, I'm trying to think of how the, sh yeah. Well, that was just his, his birth last name, you know. <laughs> um, so wait, you how old did you say you were again? I was probably like five or six. Yeah, and they put you in a room with these Pac people. Mm-hmm. Wow. <clears throat> um, yeah, I remember my first Pac. I was in the car. 
I was five years old. And I remember uh, I had something on my upper thigh, really close to my balls, basically. It was uh, the there was a little pock, you know, and it was up there real close to the thigh. And I told my mom, I said, and I was wearing high shorts at the time. You know how we did it back then. You know, we wore these <laughs> mm-hmm. high shorts. I showed my mom. I said, hey, I got some kind of little pock out here. I said, <laughs> What's going on? She goes, "Uh oh, I think you got, I think you got the pop." Bam! She knew from one. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if she said "oh oh," but she just thought, <laughs> "Oh, you got the pop." And anyway, I stayed home, and as I as the days went on, I got more and more pox all over my body, and I don't remember it being v- terribly itchy, even though I I saw this episode of Full House years later. Mm-hmm. Where everybody got well, a lot of people in the house got chicken pox, and they were itching and stuff. And I thought, you know, this would have been worse if I got this when I was older. You know, I would have uh, cared about how uncomfortable it was more, you know, than when I was younger. You know what I mean? Is it even a thing anymore? Yeah, maybe societally is it because there was pox parties. I mean, there were TV shows with mm-hmm. pox episodes. There was two pox. Oh, yeah, right. There's two, now it's yeah. kind of, where's it gone? Right. It's not in the zeitgeist anymore. Yeah. That'd be kind of crazy if people didn't get <laughs> chicken pox as much anymore. And then that meant that if that's the case, then it might be pretty serious if you do get chicken pox. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because there's no, like, immunity. I think that'll be the name of this episode. That's pox why it's... <laughs> pox pox party. Party. That's why it's really bad if you get it when you're an adult, right? Um, it's like way worse or something. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, but you know, because yes, yeah, it is worse if you're an adult. So, imagine getting pox as an adult. That would suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? How about an how about an adult pox party? <laughs> What about adult men who chase the pock? <laughs> you only get it once, but actually, I've heard people have gotten pock twice. Mm. Isn't it weird that it's called chicken pox? I mean, the idea of pox, when I think of pox, I think of pock marks, you know, on your skin from scars. When people have pock marks on their skin, is that because of chicken pox? It could be. Sounds like it is. Or just pimples. Yeah, I think so. Or just pimples. <laughs> Did you have pimples when you were younger? I was pretty pimpleless. Yeah, you seem like that. Yeah. Way. You got that fresh skin. I, I, mean, <laughs> I got. I had a couple coming up recently, but really, yeah, yeah, Pop, for real. Pimples as an adult is just such a rip off. I mean, it's yeah. so lame. I mean, come on, <laughs> we're adults here. You're giving me chicken. Po- are you giving me pimples? That's just not. That ain't right. And it's usually like a massive one, like in the center of the forehead or the end of the nose. This is not it's fair. Like, come on. It's not fair. Come on. What are the perks about being an adult <laughs> is that you don't get pimples anymore? I thought. Yeah. And yet, And then yet here we are, you know, looking like Hoping a pimples. teenager, you know, <laughs> I, I think that's so lame getting pimples as an adult. I mean, no, not on the part of the person that just that that exists, you know? Yeah. Right. It's just totally unfair. I mean, come on, man. I'm too old for this. I mean, come on, it ain't fair. I mean, pimples in your forties, that ain't right. That ain't right. How when does it end? When does it end? I can't, you know, is people are people getting pimples in their fifties? Pimples till the grave, my friend. Yeah. Imagine getting a pimple for your funeral. That would suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that's you got it. a pimple before you died and then it just <laughs> It, you know what I mean? It was you. You're yeah. Not, your skin's not going to repair after that, and then you just you're at your funeral with pimples, and they're thinking, "Wow, a pimple till pimple till death, <laughs> pimple till death." I always think when you get a big pimple, I always call it big pimping. Big pimping, yeah, yeah. You big pimping, I know. Um. <clears throat> so so you're your sp- you're special at the end of next month. That's pretty cool. Do you have like what is your like plan for it? Like where's it going? Uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna try to sell it, but it, most likely we won't sell it, and it'll end up on YouTube. 
That's my that's guess. Still cool. Yeah, that's my guess. But it would be cool if I could sell it. That'd be cool. Make some money because I'm not gonna make any money off off it as is. You know. Right. Yeah. That's cool. And I mean, some know. some great specials have gone on YouTube recently. Yeah. No, so no, I, a, I was in, kind of inspired by my friend Louis Katz. Actually, I said he just kind of did it in a DIY kind of way. You know, shot a special, put it on YouTube, and he just you know did all these different podcasts and helped get the word out and it got a million over a million views on youtube yeah and I thought, that's awesome you know what i'm not gonna wait i've been waiting around for years at this point to shoot another special and uh you know under better circumstances that were you know higher budget i guess or whatever but i thought you know i should just get this material out there and shoot it in a low scale kind of yeah, way you know? diy so, it's the way yeah. to go i mean this is not entirely diy um the one that we're doing here it's but it is going to be a low scale kind of operation you know that's cool so, yeah i'm looking forward know. to seeing it yo oh, yeah yeah i mean you know it's a lot of i mean every time i shoot a special it's always old material because i'm backed up with all this old stuff that i never put on a special you know so <laughs> you gotta first, release it the first special from 2017 that was material from i mean going back some of it was as old as I want to say 2002 or 2003. I mean, most of it was, I would say, but it was mostly stuff from the 2000s, right? So yeah. it was, you know, old material. I even kind of made reference to it in the special during the intro. I said, you know, I said it's 2004. And it's almost as if this show takes place in 2004 because a lot of the material is kind of from that time. Right. Um, and so a lot of it was, yeah, from the 2000s. And that was 10 years, you know, almost 10 years later or so. So, okay. And then here we are again, it's 2024. And I want to say that a lot of this material is from the 2010s, you know, the mid 2010s. And uh, although I'm going to do because to avoid to, you do something a fresher part of this, there is a new brand new, not when I say brand new, I mean a year old bit that I am going to do it. It's because right. I'm thinking, you know what? let's just not make this all old stuff. Let's some, I want something fresh that is sort of um, reminiscent of Jack Birch's face, you know, something that <laughs> yeah. has got that fresh sort of pimpleless, you know, feeling to it. So um, yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I could inspire you. So. Yeah, no, I was been inspired by you Stay and fresh. Louis, Louis Katz. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's cool, man. Anyway. Um, well, look, we have, um, some uh anything else going on with you nothing to report here this is gross i mean this sucks that people are going <laughs> to see this actually i almost don't even want to show the video for this episode you know I'm, i've am i been dabbing my nose that's running you know <laughs> i'll censor it yeah i don't know mate no that's too much trouble right to go through and every time i'm dabbing <clears throat> uh Anyway, uh, sorry, this is just gross. I'm, I apologies to people watching this and seeing me dab my nose with a tissue. Gross. <laughs> uh, should we listen we to some, a voice? Message? Yeah, we got some voicemails. Yeah, let me do that. Let's go check that out. I'm going to check this out right here. You know, we got some people who called in, text messages. And by the way, if you want to call in, let me hit you with that number right quick. All right. The number is 213-207-6952. You got a problem that you need solved? You need some advice? Give us a call. Leave a message. And, you know, we'll see what shakes loose. All right. I'm just going to get the audio going here. All right, let's start off with a message here from, hey, this is from uh, Seattle area, at least the area code is. Uh, <clears throat> let's let's give it a shot here. It's two, 206. What's up, Poundcast? Uh, Colin, because I recently started my own... Uh, my own business. I'm a general contractor now. It's a big step for me in my uh, 
my career personally. And I started working with my friend who's been running his general contracting business for three years. And, you know, he's a really good salesman. And that's something that I don't really know anything about. So I'm working with him to learn more about the the business aspect. Cause I know about the actual whatever, trades, crafts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the thing is, I'm finding is that this guy, my friend that I work with, he's really good at selling people these jobs, these home remodel jobs, but he doesn't know. He's so bad. He's such a bad carpenter. Everything he does is so bad, and it's such low quality. And really, you know, he just lies to himself and lies to other people that uh, that it's good and that it's worth the money that he's charging and that I'm also making. Um, and, you know, to come work with him, I have to drive down out of, out of the city where I live and co- go to a different city to work on these jobs, and the money is really good. But everything that he touches looks like shit. So I might spend two days doing something at a job, and then he'll come in and do something on top of it, and it just looks terrible. Uh, so I don't know what to do. The money's really good, but I feel like my, uh, you know, my reputation could be at stake, and, uh, you know, it just doesn't feel good to be part of such a bad, bad business thing. It feels like he's just fleecing people. So I don't know. Maybe it sounds obvious, but the money is so good that like, you know, this could this could really provide a lot for me and my partner. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Bye. I was unclear about I thought that I thought that um I thought he started his own business. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. But he also works with this other guy. Hmm. Or this and his other friend guy. sounds like a cowboy builder. Cowboy builder? Yeah, that's what it's called. There was actually, there's a television show in the UK where they would like expose cowboy builders, like people that get like bad reviews. They would like come in to like make them do a fake job and then like expose them. Oh, like really? Chris ha- like Chris Hansen style, but for builders. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, that's funny. Yeah. Why doesn't he... I mean, I wonder if he could talk... To, what if you could talk to the guy and say, look, man, you should go to carpentry school or something <laughs> yeah. because this is... I mean, maybe... I wonder if he should talk about it. Well, he might... I don't know. Maybe he will might lose his position with that guy. Maybe he could just... I mean, you know, if he's a good carpenter, the guy who is calling, he needs to be finishing. Him, yeah, he can finish the job. Yeah. You know, that way you can feel good about the work you're doing and fix that guy's mistakes. Or maybe just say, <laughs> you whisper to the client, you know, and you say, look, <laughs> you're gonna need some touch-ups on this thing mm, yeah call, call me okay call me and that way you're gonna make more money fixing this stuff uh, <laughs> listen here's my phone number call me um you'd be like definitely go with this guy he's given you a great deal but everything you touch looks like shit so call me afterwards yeah i and will I'll spruce it up for you i'll spruce it up <laughs> um um yeah it's it's interesting i mean i don't know have you ever had to vouch for something that you didn't believe in (laughs) no i don't know yeah it's hard but i don't know like he said the money's really good but is it worth like you know you're gonna get like a load of negative reviews and stuff and that could like hurt your business in the long run right it could hurt his reputation, you know? I mean, I'm just trying to think of a good solution here, you know? I mean, I think that we need to just get... I think that's probably the best thing is make sure 
you finish the job and make sure that you, you know, you're doing a good job on it, even though the other guy is not doing a good job and maybe even try to butt in and say, Hey boss, <laughs> don't you think we ought to reinforce don't that? Don't you think this looks like shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't you, <laughs> don't you think you should, we should reinforce this? Cause don't you think this is going to fall apart in probably a couple <laughs> months and maybe we should reinforce it. See what he says, you know, but maybe do it in a subtle way and just say, Oh, I'm or maybe just start doing something. You say, "Oh, I was just going to reinforce this," you know, so that it... mm. it's interesting to be a good salesman like that. You know, gosh, I wonder how many people are out there like that. Snake oil so... salesman. The what? Snake oil salesman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Called. Yeah. I mean, gosh, that's why it all comes down to doing it yourself, right? It's impossible though. Sometimes you just don't want it. <laughs> Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just don't have the ability. Um I thought the guy had his own business though. I didn't know what was what was going on. Yeah, that's on. a bit confusing. Yeah. I, I didn't understand. Did he I thought that he unless he started it with this guy or something, you know? Yeah, maybe. What's up, Pound uh, Cast? Uh Colin because I recently started my own uh my own business. I'm a general contractor now. It's a big step for me in my uh, <clears throat> my career personally. And I started working with my friend who's been running his general contracting business for three years. And okay, so I guess it's part of his business. But here's right. the other thing: is if a general contractor doesn't usually do the work, right? They usually get people to do the, you know, they figure out what needs to be done, you know, and yeah. then they get builders and stuff, get carpenters and stuff to do the work. Right. So I guess my question is who's doing the bad work, the guys you're hiring to, or the guys you're bringing onto the projects to do the building or, or yeah, what? Just go get new guys. Maybe get some really good guys. In fact, you don't even need to tell your friend just, you know, just hire really good guys to do the work. And then, you know, they'll, they'll make sure to do a good job, even though your friend is maybe giving a bet. Here, here's the thing. Clearly your dad, your, not your dad, your friend is the <laughs> salesman, right? He's the Steve jobs, I guess. And maybe you're the Wozniak. So you got to just have good, product and let that guy do what he does best which is sell that product yeah so i think you just need to sort of reorganize reassess understand your guys's roles in this in this business one guy is the salesman the other guy is the the brains and the brawn and hires the brains and brawn as well and that's you and that's where you come in Okay. And that's straight from Weinbuck Business Consultant. That's right. You know, and that's actually a pretty good thing, you know. You know what else too? You know, just wear some Daisy Dukes and no shirt too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make sure that yeah. even though even though these people are even though this will make you feel better about yourself. Since these people are maybe aren't gonna get a good, you know, they're getting kind of ripped off or whatever. You know, make it more worth it to them. You know, put on a show. You know, oil up those legs a little bit. Yeah, they're not going to care that their cabinet's wonky or whatever, or their taps are leaking. Yeah, just if you go in and you're wearing a yellow hard hat and <laughs> Daisy Dukes and nothing else, well, and a tool belt and that's it, and you oil yourself up. Damn. Hey, that pays for itself <laughs> for them. You know what I mean? They're, they're making money yeah. practically, you know? So, Yeah. That's another a word of advice, you know, oil it up, you know, make it worth it to them, you know, make sure they're mm. getting something f they're, they're, they're pay, their get, money's get, worth. Give them their, yeah, give them their money's worth. Okay. Let's move on to this next one here. This is from the two, five. <laughs> Actually, here's a text message. Let's do that. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's comment. The, this text message is commentary. Okay. These are all from the same person right here. Okay. So this is from two, five, three. There's a, phone message and another phone message and then a text message follow-up okay okay this is short actually 
Okay. Hey, Doug and Brent. So I just had an annoyance. Um, it was where the person in front of me in line um, – <laughs> you know the start oh God, of this what message, happened i don't know the start of this message kind of almost sounded like it was headed in that direction in a way yeah, you know? yeah. hey doug and Brent, so he goes hey doug and Brent, so i had an annoyance i was there's a line i, I said uh, oh fuck i wonder if he fell asleep <laughs> you know because uh, I know how that is. There was a guy, um, I do feel I have mild n- narcolepsy myself, but I w- But there was this guy who I, I knew who had a more extreme case of narcolepsy. I wonder if I could find the message. Um, I saved the message, but he was leaving a message. He, was le- he left multiple messages on my answer machine because he fell asleep while he was leaving them. <laughs> oh my God. He was leaving a message saying, hey, uh, this is, you know, so-and-so. Um, you know, uh, we have the show. I was wondering if you could do the show, and, uh, <laughs> and that was it. And he'd fall asleep while I was leaving the message. And then he called back. He's like, oh, "Hey, this is uh, this is so and so again." Um, you know, sorry, I I, I uh, dozed off on that last message. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I is a, uh... and then I'm just hearing snoring on the phone. Whoa, whatever. that's crazy. I I have I saved it. And I would almost be willing to play it on unzipped if I, if I can find it. But I don't know if I have it on me. I don't easy easily. That is, you know. Um, <clears throat> oh, you know what? It was before I. St- yeah, I do have it, but I have it on audio cassette. I used to save everything on an audio cassette, so I can't easily digitally. I then I started saving them to digitally. Mm. This was back when I was saving it on audio cassette. Dang, that that'd be hard to find. Release but, the tapes. Yeah. Gosh, I should actually uh, release a tape of just messages people left me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't capitalize on people's uh, messages they left me, but I have, I have, people leave great messages sometimes for me, you know? Are you saving uh, all of them or just like the top tier ones? Just top tier, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it was worthy, I'd, you know, save it. Same now. Yeah. I mean, I save messages now if they're worthy. Um. Gosh, one of the greatest messages I ever got left was um, my friend uh, Daniel, who I used it on my comedy album, Mostly Live. Uh, I He left these messages. They were so good. He was so good at leaving phone messages. They were He would have these almost confessional qualities to them, and he would just, they were long and confessional, and they were just so good. And uh, so I put music underneath it that I made <laughs> and uh, the, there's three tracks that are, that are from him, the DP confessionals, they're called those. That was his, in his initials. And um, yeah, that's on mostly live. You know, it's one of the small parts of the album that is not live. Okay. Let's see what this guy's next message is. <laughs> hey, sorry. I just, called in with an annoyance and I uh, I had to cut it short because my roommate walked in and I don't want them to hear me doing that. <laughs> um, All right. So my annoyance... Uh, I mean, it, what's funny is that I, so I feel like maybe he's... Okay, the way he's talking is maybe he's trying to be quiet and not have his roommate hear it, I guess, or something. Um, so my annoyance, uh, just happened. Um, it was where the person in front of me in line had like a full conversation with the cashier and, um, and, and the person, yeah, it'd be funny if he said, and that person was my roommate, (laughs) you know, yeah, that'd be funny. And, um, yeah, it was like before they even started the transaction, they were just having this long conversation. Um, so I don't know, maybe, 
Maybe I should be more patient. Maybe it's bad for me to be annoyed by that, but it's, you know, it just happened to me. So I figured, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see what, see what Doug and Brent have to say about this. Uh, yeah. Bye. Oh. Oh, bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> um, well, I'll speak for Doug on this one. We, yeah, we've covered this before, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely annoying. It is. It goes against purchase and queuing etiquette. Yeah. You know, but, by the way, um, I've she, definitely been annoyed by this. There's a follow up text message here that I guess I should just read. Hey, my okay. second voicemail is the one I meant to send. Got interrupted in the first one and would prefer. Oh, shoot. And would prefer it not be played. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Okay. I mean, look, let me that. just, I'm going to make an executive decision here. He said he preferred it not be played, but I don't think it was a big deal. Mm. I think it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. It led to me talking about this other guy falling asleep. And I don't know. I hope you're okay with us playing it. Okay. My friend, we got juice out of it. So thank you. We appreciate it. We got some juice out of it a little bit. So. And and you said prefer, you know, and also you. I mean, I guess prefer is basically <laughs> saying, I would, but don't worry, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It didn't sound bad. And also, I just thought it's funny because I thought that maybe your roommate. I mean, you referenced the other call and the other one. You didn't sound bad or anything. It just sounded you sounded kind of narcoleptic, but you know, I, but that wasn't the case though. So. I hope it's okay that we played it. Okay. Um, Wait, so, so this one's been covered before. Well, I mean, this idea, yeah. The, I mean, yes, this, not this call has been covered, but this subject has been covered or this annoyance or whatever. Has been yeah. Um, but let's think of something new. I think, you know, uh, yeah, if you want to get real bold with it, if they're having a conversation, Mm -hmm. behind the counter and start just making this <laughs> stuff yourself you know I mean, and yeah. you can just say oh i thought you maybe weren't gonna do this no i don't know that's a little too aggressive but... well you do you get involved with the conversation yeah maybe that's you jump in you, you get involved in the and then as you're involved you put your stuff through as well to, and and thought oh we're all talking together why don't we buy all our things together yeah 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 yeah, yeah. why don't you <laughs> yeah. cover my let's stuff? go all in why don't you get my stuff too actually oh why don't we <laughs> it's like this it's like this okay so you're talking they're talking about, let's say, uh, I don't know. They're talking about soccer balls or whatever, mm -hmm. footballs and for you, I guess. Um, yeah. And uh, they're going, yeah, I, I get my soccer balls over at Big Five. You know, they got pretty good uh, skins on them. You know, and then then you pipe in and you go, hey, you guys talking about soccer balls? And they go, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I uh, I I'm always trying to get the a good color palette, you know, I mean, there's always obviously the classic black and white, but I like to um, change it up and get yellow and blue, you know, and they say, oh, yeah, yeah, yellow and blue, that's pretty good. And he said, <coughs> and by the way, I also I'll get, you know, I'll get the burger with a uh, fries <laughs> and um, you could just put it on his, you know, like, we'll just we'll just pay for it all together. You need to put it on his that way you get free, <laughs> you know, you yeah. get a free meal out of it, you know, and you get your time back. And you get to make new friends too, you know? Um, so yeah, you just, it's, you're making new friends, you're getting, you know, they're paying for your food or whatever you're in line for, you know, you know, you're getting some, the inside scoop on soccer balls. Damn. It was like a good deal if you ask me. So, you know. You know, and plus, you know, you're you're being stimulated. You know, you're not falling asleep. You know, <laughs> you know. I'm kidding. <laughs> As for the roommate, you know, um, you know, get him on, in on it too. You know, you know, maybe you should. 
here's here's this is I mean I'm just going off on a tangent here, but maybe maybe don't be so secretive around your roommate anymore. You know, maybe let him know about your problems. You know, that, yeah, he's probably got problems too that he'd want. Yeah, to you solve, probably you could know? bond on that. You know, maybe he has some good suggestions for you too. You know, if you weren't trying to keep it secret, and you're saying you didn't want your, your roommate to hear about this situation, start talking to your roommate more. You know, he might he might be able to, you know, give you some advice, help you get in on a conversation. He might know a thing or two about soccer balls. So <clears throat> anyway, look, everybody, um, I'm sorry that this, I was sick on this episode and I'm sorry that it, it maybe what well, that was gross or whatever, <laughs> but look, we're going to do something called unzipped where I'm going to get more runny, more, uh, congested and you're going to love it because it's, it just it gets it gets to a point where it's absurd and 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 you start to like it i think and go to patreon.com slash poundcast to get in on that action what we're, what we're gonna actually do some fun stuff i think right jack we're gonna look at some stuff yeah we got some stuff to look at what some, are we gonna look at we got uh some fun fashion items to look at i thought that was fun last time we looked at met gala so okay we're it's, gonna look it's, at- it's not met gala but <clears throat> it's some interesting fashion and there's maybe a video we could see but we see how it goes okay so that sounds pretty fun we're gonna look at some fashion um you want to plug your any of your stuff mm, i got nothing to plug okay well look i think the link is just about up i mean I, yeah by the time you listen to this episode the link will be up for the special i'm going to mention this in the at the during the intro but um ucb theater uh, look it up online in Los Angeles, UCB Theater on Franklin. There's two shows, 7 and 9.30 p.m. Um, there is, they are charging tickets for it, but if money is tight or whatever, contact me online and I will put you on a comp list. It's not a big deal. So, you know, especially if you're a loud laugher, okay? If you're a loud laugher, you know, I got to get you on the comp list, okay? Because we need these loud laughers for this thing. Um, okay, it's on June 29th. Send so Saturday, send Saturday. people send Brent your loudest laugh, and he'll comp you for the show. Yeah. Um. Okay, and that's about it. We're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope to see you over at the Patreon. And uh, I think next week. We'll be well, Doug will be back in the mix. So that's something that's something different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, that's something new. Yeah, that's, that's something new. Um and uh although I think he's going back on tour the week after that, so we'll see what happens, you know. But um yeah, we'll see you in, in a little bit or we'll see you next week, okay? Bye bye. All right, bye. Bye bye. Doug and Brent, talking to each other. Doug and Brent, what will they talk about today? Doug and Brent, are talking to some pimples. Doug and Brent, will talk to their friends. And Doug and Brent, talking on the pound cat.